Well, hello, kids. What's crack a lamp? Kid? This is a uh, this is sex cat trying to play some of this game called Earth IO. It's a little platforming fighting game, multiplayer online. Um. Let's see here. So this guy just killed me. I didn't want it to. I was switching between multiple tabs and he killed me. Oh gosh. And uh, but I got a, a big sniper at level 90. So what we're gonna do here um, is spawn a new guy. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go with Bunny. That's my favorite. So name them. Oh fuck! Wrong place to spawn. Oh shit. Good. He's gonna kill me too. So I wonder if he knows. Okay. So what we need to do is get this character to level 35, so we can get Wisdom three, and then we kill the sniper, and then we'll get up to like around level 70 or something, and that'll make us get hero class, and then we can fight this guy pretty good. I can fight him right now, but. I might have to lose his aggro. Let's see, where's he going? Up there. Okay, he's. <laughs> what a loser. He's going to, top, to the left. He doesn't know where I am. What a new. Okay, is he still alive? Thank God. Yeah, so, this playing with multiple tabs is, is not really like an official part of the game, you could say. It's just a way. No, not too afraid of him. Uh, why did I move? He doesn't care. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. So, first, top player is getting close to my other guy. And, oh. I'm, I'm too spread out. I'm gonna die. Oh okay. god. Okay, okay. I can keep an eye on my other guy while I'm fighting this guy. Okay. Nope. Oh shit. be distracted by the penguin? No. Ooh. Just gotta be cheap. Stay down. Wow, I probably could kill them there. I try to play really predictively. Oh, and unpredictable. Oh my god. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Woo! Woo Take it, bitch. Okay, well... It's not terrible if I lose a penguin now. I got the levels I needed to. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Oh shit. So I gotta try to get my penguin out. I'm trying to keep an eye on him. But they're really aggro towards me. There we go. Pop goes a weasel. Okay. I got all my upgrades because I'm level 100. Let's see if he'll fake attack. Okay, he's gonna be scared. I just wanna kill my penguin right now. Although I probably don't need to, I can just keep leveling him up. In fact, level 101 is the highest level, but there's a lot of aggro players right now. Okay. Consolidated my power. Back. We got two decent players that are playing as paladin slash whatever warriors classes. Whew! They have no chance against me. I basically play this game more than anybody. I am predictive. <laughs> there we go, I get hit too much by a paladin. Effortless. Yeah, I have the most so you gather experience altogether. Um, over your different plays. And I have by far the most than anybody. More than three times the next player. It's pretty epic. I'm a, <laughs> on this game all the time, but I think it's a really good game, and I actually use it for reference for my own game design. It lets me experience a multiplayer platforming fighting experience, which is kind of one of my games. But that game has a resource element. This guy's low health? No. Oh, okay. I missed saw that. So this is like the prime farm spot for a warrior, paladins, or not warriors, but paladins, champions, heroes. Heroes will do the le least amount of damage, but they have the largest hitbox, essentially. I got a close range hitbox, all the way to like my body. 
while this guy, he only has his hitbox is kind of far from him. I'll let them fight it out like little schnooks. Okay, I'll just get the kill at the end here. So big thing with paladin fights is there's like the meta of what's the most efficient, fastest thing to do. So you got to take that into account. But depending on how they play, if they actually play the most efficiently, so then. Because there's a delay, you have to somewhat predict what's what's going to happen next. So sometimes you have to throw out where, where they not are, where they aren't at the moment. Because by the time you get there, they'll change. There you go. Pop goes the weasel. Let's see. The bug off bastards guy is still on. Sorry, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm the asshole. Who just kills everybody. So, what I really wanted to show in this video was how to get highly efficient, high levels. Which is kind of my trick. So, the, the best farmer is a, is a sniper or a gunner. More arguably a sniper, but gunner has an advantage of being easier to defend by itself. It's almost as efficient. And the prime spots are here, uh, the level above here, hanging out in the right ridge. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, probably not. Over here is a good sniper farm spot. Uh, I'll just wait to log on my other guy. Look, this is a good gunner or sniper spot here on this level and this level. One thing you do have to do sometimes is... If there's not an, if there's too many ice slimes that fell off the edge down here, or I think just in general, if there's too many spawned, you won't get as many. So it's good to come down here and kill the the, the ones that fall over. I do believe things despawn for some reason. Oh, the scorpion guy is on. Uh, Put back as I made fun of him. I think he's a pretty young kid. Oh, wonder if he'll try to get aggro on me. Oh, poor high. There he is. I basically don't team with anybody. A lot of other people team. But I can basically fight against the best team by myself. So I don't really need a teammate. And so many times if I team with people that they betray me, it basically gives you an opportunity for the best betrayal. So if you do want to team with somebody, you want to be really trustworthy with them, basically I've come to the conclusion that it is disadvantageous to team up. I can only, sometimes I'll do it if I really need peace, but I always keep an eye on them. I can't tell you how many times they've betrayed, it's kind of obnoxious. It's really funny when people want to team after they're about to die, after you're killing, they're like, team, team, team! It's pretty sad. So now we're gonna spawn some gunners. Just want to show my little, this is my account bar on the left. Almost 30 million stars. So that's the total XP together. If negative coins that I, I bought things all at the same time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Because there's a bug to get you negative coins. So I have all the skins except the dragon, which is the only one I really want. Uh oh. We got a gunner incoming. Watch out, Roger, Roger. Let's see. So I'll, I'll start at level 31. Uh, because I died somewhere maybe around level 50 or pretty high. Then you start at level 31, which is the highest one to respawn at. Which is a nice aspect when you're recycling. So if you really, really want to get the most stars really fast, um, the method is to use three gunners, um, get one to above level 100, um, and another one at level 50 with wisdom 5, and then, uh, sorry, I'm just doing these upgrades really quick. Um, so level 50 has, has wisdom 5. When a level 50 kills somebody with at least 101 levels, um, he'll get to like level 130 or 120 around there. Um, and then you basically just keep repeating that. You respawn a new guy as level 31, get him up to level 50 with wisdom 5, kill that 130 or 120 guy, and then that guy will be level 120. 
So that essentially is like the most direct, fast way to get stars. But it's also not that exciting. It's less fun to do it that way. So like a less efficient way, but a more fun way. But a way also where you can get somebody with a really high level is this method, which I'm kind of doing right now, which is having two gunners, snipers, and one hero class. Um, it'd probably, probably be ideal if it was Paladin, but I don't like playing with Paladin. Um, heroes, close ranges, and the, and the low hitbox too, it gets really low, like a level lower. It's extremely useful. Especially these little pesky, like, little low level guys can get you, like, can get a champion because of that minimum range thing. Um, so maybe go to 4, we can be a sniper now, so I'll just go ahead and do that. So you can have this configuration, or you can have them both. Um, you don't have to farm with this guy, because this guy farms pretty slowly. And I probably, essentially, if I was really into getting a high level with this guy, I would give him more monster killers. And probably save Paladin, maybe. Paladin has the most damage, and has a pretty good hitbox. It's just, it's a little slow. It's predictable. So I got this other guy who didn't get very far, so he starts at level 16. And so I just do control tab to tab really quickly. Let's see. I made these characters in honor of the, of the previously good players who don't play anymore. They used to be the best players and I would fight them all the time. It was good 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 gaffes we had. So in honor of them, I'm Bree and O1. Also known as Jacob or Charlie. <laughs> I think his real name is Jacob. Way to spoil that to everybody. I wonder if uh, this video is going to get uploaded again to Discord, like other people like to. Some people, I'm infamous kind of online. Because I always used to fight against S Clan, blah blah blah. Because I've wrecked them. I've died plenty of times to them, and so I've actually gotten really good because of them, so I, res I respect them in that way, but I still will always kill them, because fuck teamers, <laughs> but now they never play, so I'm pretty sure I'm really by far the best player right now, but that's, I'm sure that's a biased opinion, but I really do play all the time, and I really don't get competition. I never see it. So, unless they're playing servers that I never play at a time I never play, which I play, I have played all the time. I'm pretty sure I'm the best. They don't play the most with having those much stars. So, unless people don't play with an account or they do split accounts. I also have the top kills, or I mean, top level, level one, 404, or somebody right behind me with 401. Uh, the only thing I'm not number one on is top kills, which I'm not even on the board for the top levels. So I use this method, except I use all gunners, and then I have one gunner. So I'm, basically this method, you have one one character keep leveling up, but you want to get the sniper to level 101, because for whatever reason, whenever you hit 101, you get pretty much double the experience when you kill that. So, let me just... <laughs> If a character is at just level 100, if you kill them, you get about like a, uh, a million stars or a million XP. But if they're level 101, you get 2.2 2 .2 million stars. So you get a little bit more than double for some reason. I have no idea why that is. And I accidentally found it. It was a really strange thing to discover. But it's helped me get really high level. So if you constantly kill them when they're 101, you get pretty much the most efficient way to get higher levels. But to get really high levels, you need a ridiculous amount of XP. You can, you'll be like level 200, and you'll kill somebody who's level 101, and you get like 12 levels or something. Maybe you get more at that level. No, I think it's something like that. And then when you're high like 300s, you get like three levels, maybe. This is just a guess. And even way higher, you're only getting like a couple levels from a level 100. So it takes a while to get really high up in the high up echelon. So I got to level 401. It took me, I just did it overnight, like I started at late at night, and went all the way in the morning, and it was something like, 
seven or eight hours of just not being able to leave the computer. And a big factor is for my my computer is like super or my internet is really bad. It just dies sometimes. So that'll if my internet cuts off, then everything stops. I can't I lose everything that I'm working on at the moment. I had to re log in all my guys at level one. So it's pretty bad. It's pretty much a restart and out of nowhere. So I'm gonna camp this guy. So this is a good camp spot. I saw a bunch of oh, Apollo. He'll definitely try to kill me. Okay, nice. I see next two WTL guys. Apollo, I think, is halfway good. I think. He's just not in the high tiers, though. So actually, I think why I'm able to defeat like almost anybody, one big thing is just understanding the most efficient, like what how, predicting what people's movements are exactly, and then also juking perfectly. So an idea of a juke. Is because you're you're trying to they're trying to predict your moves too because you need to predict in order to hit. Um, the whole idea is to give them a path that they try to take advantage of, but then changing that path at the, the critical moment where you don't get hit. Good examples even just like falling down to a paladin, they're going to try to hit jump and hit you at the right time, but if you just jump right but right at the right time, they won't actually hit you. If you do too early, then they can adjust and then still hit you. Should I let them get some levels? There's one thing too, when I was trying to get high levels, I just had to kill all the real players all the time. Just keep killing them until they give up. Just to kind of like troll them till they quit. Pretty ruthless. Um, but if you gotta get those high levels, this is what you gotta do. So almost for sure, the other people that got those high levels probably, yeah, they all are on this clan. This one clan, S clan. There they all. They're, and they have, how do they have the reptilian guys? I wonder if their account is like Tegadidi or something. They must not be have their account. Z Zion. Zyklor? Um, okay, that is what he's talking about. Okay. I know that point. How the fuck did he get dragon? How do we even get these skins? I have, I have so many coins. It's kind of ridiculous. And it's really annoying. I don't even know what you have to do in order to not get the negative coins, because I've even, like, died. I'm restarted. Oh, shit. Panic! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta move him. He's gonna die from this. Let's jump away! So I set him on an auto path to run away. We're gonna die together! There you go. <laughs> Blood will be spilt. <laughs> Shoot! Honestly, it can even take the, a really weak player for me to be taking advantage of. Uh oh, speaking of, oh that guy Madara. Oh shit. Oh, I'm gonna try to kill. There we go. So hopefully he'll be threatened and won't want to walk. Where's my other guy? Oh, sweet. Kill him. No. Mm. I'll keep him. I can do this. I'm going to do the challenge instead of giving up. Try to get him to 101. There's decent... Madara's... 
not high level, but he's decent. Enough to be a threat, definitely. Like I said, any low level players are actually going to be a threat. Anybody who wants to kill that sniper, and if my attention is somewhere else. So that's why I gotta kinda shoo people away. Dude! <laughs> Be spent towards the penguins. So, revealing all my secrets just in hopes to put some more life into this game. Oh, Shizen! Although, I think they don't care about it enough that they're gonna repost this on Discord or anything like that. And if they do, now y'all learn something. So, there you go. Hmm, what should I do about Madara? I could fight him with this guy. He's my first line of defense. And I've, because I've farmed so much, I've gotten really good with gunners. <laughs> I can run, ride a gunner like nobody's business. Although, any, only something with like knockback can really defend against certain things. Like somebody who's faster melee, you need knockback to really... Or like an archer can shoot backwards. The only thing with the gunner is when he's fleeing, he has to turn around, which kind of sucks. But you can do the frozen to shoot, shoot, but you still... Basically the best thing to do is do a dash. Backwards dash, shoot, keep running kind of thing. And then you need to take advantage of ninja mode, so you need to be stealth almost any moment except for firing. You can't fire, of course, it's stealth. One cool little trick for if you have ninja mode, you're like an art, uh, like one of these guys. I guess you know. I'll just mm, yeah. I'm a sniper. I'll just defend with this guy. Not even bother farming. I'm gonna teach you stuff. So you can um. Sometimes it's better not to jump as high, like super high. You actually want a smaller jump so you can get out of stealth mode right before you jump. We get right back in so you get that uh, X speed. Because if you're, if, like, right here, like, if you're jumping too high and you're actually wasting time nudging against the, the, the wall right here, and you might be, be set up in a better position to actually hit them. So it's like the furthest of your hitbox is going to be like the far corner, the front tip. I'll show you. Ugh. Ugh. you just barely get him. Okay. Or is it? Is it a circle? It must be a circle. And I love that the range of the hero he goes down too. It's really rough. You can. Whew. It's a really brutal hitbox. Oh, here we go. There we go. And if you use your knockback, it's really important to see how you knock things back with your weapon. If you're right. Onto, right below something, I can try to, I'm trying to kill a slime, but my snipers keep killing it. Uh, oh. Even a player, if you hit them right underneath, they're going to go the opposite way. And if you hit them a little bit from a the side, they'll go from the opposite side that you're hitting them on. So, if you understand that, you can actually control a player as they're trying to approach you, especially if they're coming from t above. And you'll be like, bam, stay up there. Or stay in a in an X X plane. Oh, uh, here's the slime. So I'll hit it right below. And it'll go backwards. But if I hit it in this side, it'll go that way. Oh, uh, hitting mobs are is so important. It's such a great technique for champions, heroes, and all that. I don't know what to call. I'll call them warrior classes, even though warrior doesn't really count. Um, but that's where it starts. I'll also call it. Paladin champion here. There. <laughs> All the classes that matter. <clears throat> Paladin to hero classes. Um, hitting mobs is really, really important. Mobs knock you back, totally affect you. Um, so if you move them at critical times, like bam. So now it's kind of like a wall right there. He has to do something in order to get through, which he could theoretically hit that though. 
But if he hit him from where he was, it would have blocked this little knot right here. And he wouldn't have been able to get through still. So, you do things like that. Like right here, this is nice to have this mob right here. Somebody's approaching. Because they can't get above. They have to hit it. Clear these ice slimes. Okay, my guys are getting pretty high level. My little farmers. Farmer boys. Yeah, they're maxed on upgrades that matter. All they need is Wisdom 5 and Monster Slayer 4. And that from a sniper one shots any mob. If you have Monster Slayer 5 for Gunner, you kill any mob. Except Penguin just takes one extra tiny hit. There's backwards dashes like that, it's important. If you dash and then press the other direction right afterwards, then you can do that. To be critical, going. Senseless murder. Oh, Madara is leveling up from far away. I think he knows me because he stays away from food. So this is just one of my names of my characters. I named them a lot of different kinds of things. You, gotta, you had to stay anonymous. Um, to fight against the S clan because they just kill you and spawn. Basically, if you, they knew you were a good player. They're a pretty trashy clan, I gotta say. <laughs> like, it's basically people that were pretty... They were the best players at the time. And they kind of just... It's more like a mafia where you gang up so you, so you protect yourself and you try to kill other people. And they were so ruthless. All their trash talks. Like, I don't trash talk unless you trash talk me. And then I will trash talk you to the ends of the earth. I never initiate trash talk, ever. I think it's just totally not necessary. But it is perfect for someone who is trash talking you back. Then you gotta get good at trash talking. <laughs> well, technique and trash talking. One good thing is to uh, point out any weaknesses. You basically want to tilt the player, is what you're attempting to do. Make them emotional and play worse. So you point out mistakes, like if they miss. Um, you have to try to really get another skin, so you gotta find something that, that tilts them. Is that Madara? You gotta kill these slimes, these icicles. Oh shit. Might be susceptible now. Honestly, if you're low level, there's almost nothing you can do to like something like this. Except fight back. Like you can't run away. Like, why even try? Oh. Okay. I'm only temporarily getting them away. Okay, it's perfect. I got them right in the position I want. Yeah, I'll just kill them. They're, they're almost a level. At this point, I gotta cut my losses. They were so close. But I'll, I've been in this situation a lot of times, and most likely, he's gonna kill me. Woo, take him out. Okay. And that's another thing. If they're trapping you like that, you just... You test to see what they react to. If they quick react or they slow react, um, then you can figure out a, a good timing to enter to, to miss to, for them to miss. There you go. <laughs> ah, too much damage. Well, now I'm seeking their blood. It will be destroyed. This guy's pretty bad. TBH. So we can show you some simple techniques. Jumping, you don't want to jump that much. That guy, definitely not. There's some low jump for that. And I have three dash, basically dash threes. Oh, need more jumps than I thought he did. You want to count their jumps, see how much they can jump. And then when they're totally out of jumps, get them when they're coming down. Just a little bit of health less, I just gotta chase them. Bam, pop goes a weasel. Let's find the Dara and murder him. Revenge! You're making me have to kill my own guys! He must he must have been farming somewhere. So my guess is that he was farming pretty much the best alternative spot to farm as a paladin, champion, hero is over here. This one, you can jump. This is my favorite. 
a lot of people like this one, too. It's pretty good, too. It's a lot of spawns. Where? Must find. Where was that? Oh. There he is. That might not be him. That might be a WTE. I can't tell until he dies. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, I think Madara's a big guy. A huge. Man, I gotta ceaselessly search. So if you're searching for somebody, they can hide in bushes. That's pretty much the one place you can hide. But you can't hide in a bush. If the slime is gonna hit you, slimes have a little bit of time where they don't hurt you, but then after a bit, they're gonna hurt you. So you won't be able to stay in there. You can tell if nobody's in the area because there's no, no mob, mob spawning. So if you see mob spawning, you know somebody's been around. So check those bushes. But the big guy's not gonna fit in a bu uh, little bush. He might fit in this bush, but there's nobody spawning around here. I guess you just have to run around like a chicken. But I'm determined to murder this mofo. I got spinning hat, Jeff. I'll weep at Sexy Cat, the god of Earth I.O. But I'm pretty sure everybody's like 13 in places, so. It's not something to be that <laughs> proud of. But it really is a different game now. Before, S Clan was always on killing the spawners. Now you just mostly have the fake bot players all the time. Sometimes there's 15 bots in one server. Um, then you got this WT Clan, which are pretty mediocre, pretty weird. Um, we got random decent players that come up, but really just not as often as they used to be, which is fine by me. I still really enjoy the game mechanics. Where's Madara? I don't care about you. I just want to kill him out of principle, but really, um, if I'm number one, he theoretically could always try to avoid me to the best of his ability. Because you can see where I'm going, so you just... So maybe if I move more unpredictably. Shit, it's been really hard to find this mofo. WTE killed this scorpion guy. Man, where is he? I might need to send a proxy. I think that's what I'm gonna do. If I even gonna get really nasty, I can actually send a player to die to him. Oh, there he is. Oh no, it's not him. Oh, get back! I don't want to die. Okay. Wow, I'm super aggro. Oh, there he is. Maybe he is avoiding. Just get my stats. There's a lot of mind games you can play too. By running away, you can or just act like a new player. I can try to kill him like this, but he can just run away without enough speed. No, that my character doesn't have enough speed. I actually do want him to kill him. You know, I'll give him lots of levels. Where'd he go? Did he hide that I didn't see? I don't think so. I don't think it would be that dumb. Although, I was a quote unquote AFK. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, ah, look back! There we go. Pop! See, I'm trying to keep him, keep him juggled. Oh, so ruthless. Man, Madara, you're my prey that I want to defeat. Bree will find you. You apparently are avoiding me, so I will go where my guy is not. Archer is actually a good class. I'm, I'm good with too. I'm pretty accurate. You can't see my cursor. But... There he is. 
You're right, he hard. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Another thing you can do is have people kill you and spy on them. Dara. Oh shit, I clicked on my jump. Damn it. Oh, but he's not running away. Yes! <laughs> Madara! No! I'm actually too much, paying not too much attention to my other guy. I should probably keep him in a safer spot. TBH. Uh, that bush? There's a bush up here. Oh, shit. Am I good? I don't know. Let me move a little bit. That's pretty safe up there. Although, of course, it's not safe because I'm on the radar. So anybody can get, get to me where they want to. Ugh, finding this guy! He's a slippery snake, I tell ya. I guess I could distract him. There we go. I don't have good uh, sight of somebody below me. Gotta keep an eye still. Should be safer. Slightly safer than the farming spot. I'm actually what I'm gonna do is remove one of my windows here. So it's easier to tap between them. Hmm. It's a nice little challenge. I actually want him to kill me. So I can track so I can track him. That's the thing I was, I was trying to say. Okay. AFK. Oh, he left. The hunt is on! So I get these multitasking skills from StarCraft. Because in StarCraft you have to manage a lot of things at the same time. But one thing is to check things extremely, well at least in this game, check things very often. You only want like a second or two. Within a second somebody could be in screen. Let's see. If I just checked. Let's see, did somebody go walking right now and then they hit me. And then they hit me again. So, like every second or two is an opportunity for someone just to waltz in and kill you. Or get you some hits. So, imagine if you're distracted, just fighting a battle. It can happen very easily. I want to find this damn Madara flock. Oh, shit. Cool, I'm still invisible. I don't think it means that much because somebody who's smart enough to look up to look on the radar can find me. Okay, just kill me. How about that? Just kill me. He's already afraid of me, so he'll run away. God damn it! Or maybe I can bait him into range of my guy. He is a slippery snail. Auto attack and auto jump and auto run. Ah! He was hiding. Okay, just kill me. Just kill me. I can't just let you kill me, but. <laughs> this is where I learned all my juking skills is being an archer against champions. Archer is pretty good against a big champion. Yes, just kill me. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Yes, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Whoops! Aw, oh, shit. I gotta get that XP back. That should be pretty easy. Yes! Destruction. You're over here. And of course, using multiple screens is useful. I'm not using multiple screens at the moment, but you could split up your windows between the screens and have, like, one tracker on one screen, so you're always watching them, even to the point if I'm fighting somebody one on one, like a champion versus whatever, I can I'll just watch their screen and see what I am according to their screen because you actually get like almost a faster response, you get a better idea of where they are on their screen more than yours. So it's nice. I just killed that mofo. So that was a nice little session of leveling up and stuff. Hope this was mildly entertaining or at least uh, enlightening. 
don't do drugs, kids. Or, or do them, just don't do them excessively. Amen, brother. <laughs>